During last year's Mangae Hour hunting ritual in Taidong's Karipul community, Puyuma hunters were chased by forest rangers. The event led to a protest outside a presidential office by indigenous people who demanded rights over their own land. Puma Tribe's New Year Festival, or Mukasa Tamangayao, will start soon in mid-December, and the Katipul community's youngsters are busy building hunting huts in the mountains. However, this year, the community decided to report their hunting activities directly to the Council of Indigenous Peoples of the Central Government, instead of the county government. They hope this will push authorities to work out details for the indigenous people's basic law. The Council of Indigenous Peoples probably meets some obstacles in pushing for the advancement of Indigenous Peoples' basic law. So we just wait for the policies to be set? Or perhaps we can use the power of the Indigenous Peoples' basic law to some level, urging the Council of Indigenous Peoples to finish the details of the law as soon as possible. Members of the Katipul community have reached a consensus and set down hunting rules to regulate the hunters. They insist that the power of interpreting indigenous culture belongs to the community and not the government. We must negotiate with the government. We have the right to live by our culture, but at the same time, we will have our own rules to regulate our members. We should have the right to manage ourselves. That power isn't given to us by the current government, but inherited from our community ancestors several thousands of years ago. According to government regulations, the pool community should report to the Taidong County government and the Forest Bureau before they can hunt in the mountains. Now the community members have chosen to report directly to the Council of Indigenous Peoples. However, it's uncertain if this move would assure government's positive response to the Puyuma people and guarantee the indigenous people's hunting rights. TITV Weekly.